Hey everybody, what's going on? It is Jason with the Board Game Mechanics, and today we're going to play through a game, a few rounds of a game called Aqua. If you want to see how the game works, go ahead and stay here, and we'll play through the a few, few rounds. If you want to see our full review, click the link in the video description, and you can go check that out. So, if you're still here, let's check it out. Alright, so in this game, we are trying to build a coral reef and get different types of marine animals, creatures, small creatures, and big creatures to live in there, okay? Everything's going to score points. The creatures are going to have the numbers that's on them. And every tile is going to score in a different way, all right? Now, let's get going. So this player will go first. So they'll throw this here. Now, what's going to happen is you're going to draft a tile. You have to draft the tile. And then you're going to put that tile into your reef here now the only rule is you have to match one side so this one could go like this okay you just have to match one side of the color if you don't want to take a tile you can take this you will pass and you will take your your tile last but you will come first pick in the next round okay that might not come into effect too much in a two-player game but i wanted to explain it okay so this player is first first thing they do is they put their the snail back and then they're going to look let's just go ahead and take this one so they're going to take this one and put it like this okay the green side matches so they're good this player they're going to start working on yellow right here and done all right so this player went first this player went second if no one takes this that player just becomes first player they'll refill the row there's always one more than the number of players they will put this back and then they will go so they're going to take this white one, this yellow one here. They're going to put it like that. Now, the game works. You're going to take a tile. If you make a hex that the animal fits in, you immediately fill it with an animal. So I have a clownfish. So I've gotten two points. Okay? That's how that works. That immediately happens. This player, they're going to take this green one. And they are going to take a green. So they get a sea turtle. All right. And if they went last, so they get that, so they would refill. And they get a pick first. They don't really want to pick first, but I'm gonna I'm gonna do this actually. Okay. And then they're gonna pick second, so they'll get that, and they will take the purple. Right there. Okay. So they, they're gonna go first, they'll put it back, they'll refill. And they're going to take this purple right there. And they're going to see anemone. An anemone. Now, another thing that happens is once you get different animals that fit the certain shape, you can get an appropriate large animal tile of that shape. And I'm going to make me a barracuda. And I'm going to put that barracuda right on top. Now, you don't lose these points, but you're going to get extra, extra points. Every animal under a large animal has to be different. Okay. So this player is going to, they'll take a blue, they'll put the blue like this, and then they're going to get to build, I don't know what this is, oh, jellyfish, jellyfish, I played a whole game of this and didn't realize I was a jellyfish. Alright, so this player is first now for the next round, they'll refill, they'll put this back, and they're going to start on pink, like this I'm real bad at this game uh, maybe I don't want that let's just keep going blue let's go blue uh, nope real bad real bad uh, we'll, we'll do red put the red there like that okay then this player they will They're going to start expanding some pink as well. Okay. They'll put it back. They flip. They get to go first. And they will take this pink here. That doesn't make the shape I need yet, so nothing. Um, and then this player is going to take a purple like this. Okay, they went second, so they become first player. 
So I'll do that and that. And they'll take another purple. So they will get a purple. A sea anemone. Okay. And they'll get this one. They're going to go with the eel. They're two-sided. Uh, they're going to take second. And they will take... They'll do this yellow here like that. Okay, so they'll refill. And you, you've seen how the game works. Now let's talk about the end game scoring. So the end game scoring, you're going to have this awesome little score card here. See our, our game that we played. You're going to score your large animal. So you just take them off. Okay, so they would get three. They would get five. They're going to, as you, the first one who scores is going to get more points in each of the sections. Okay, do that. Then you're going to score all your little animals. So I would get two, five, eight. Mark that down, okay? Then you're going to score your reefs. Okay, now reefs are a little confusing. But you're going to look at, at your, your biggest reef. So this is a, my biggest reef here. And it's going to score for every animal that's adjacent to it. So that's only this one. So I would get two additional points. Okay, and then they would do the same thing. Done. Then we're going to look at all the ways these score. So the pink starfish or seahorse is going to score for every other animal that's adjacent to it. So for example, if this player, I know this isn't legal, but if this player had that there, this seahorse would score an additional two points for having the turtle next to it. Okay, so that's how that one works. This one, this tile is going to score two points for every jellyfish that you have in your reef. So right now this player would get an extra two points. The sea anemone will get three points if you have this you will get three points for every sea anemone. If you have this one, three points for every crab. If you have the dolphin or the hammerhead shark, you're gonna get three points for every turtle. And if you have this big dog here, the narwhal, let's show the narwhal side because it's cool. The narwhal, you're going to get four points for every clownfish that you put on your board, okay? And after all that is said and done, you're gonna calculate your score and whoever has the most points is the winner. Now there are some advanced tiles and more tiles if you're playing a more player game. Uh, there's a bunch of different ways to score these here. You can check all those out, but these are the advanced ones. This is the base game version that I had out here, but there's a whole pile of these. I think there's two more sets, so you shouldn't run out of any variety in this if you want. So, And that's that. So that is how you play Aqua. And again, if you want to check out our full review and thoughts, click the link in the video description. Otherwise, thanks for watching, and as always, keep gaming.